So the royal secret. Well, if all of this is leading us towards that Elizabeth, the virgin queen, had several children waiting in the wings to possibly be the heirs to the throne. And there's lots and lots of circumstantial evidence for that. She used to go on what was called progress. Leave Windsor Castle or leave Greenwich Palace and just go on progress. See her people out in the countryside wearing big hooped skirts. You know? So out of the view of the physicians and the, and the nosy aristocrats of court, she would get out of town. She'd get out of Dodge occasionally and just go and say, and many uh, speculate that the reason for that was so that she could give birth. She wanted to maintain her power in the... Everybody was waiting for her to get married. We don't want a queen, we, we want a guy. We want a king, you know. And she wouldn't have it. She's famous for having said, there is one master in this royal house. I'm not sure if she said royal house, but she's it's famous for that statement. There's one master or one mistress, and she, it's me. You know, I she didn't want to get married and turn power over because she'd seen her dad, who was completely nuts. Her dad executed her own mother because he couldn't, because she didn't give him a an, a male heir. So a little bit dysfunctional. Um, but nevertheless, growing up with this knowledge that you got to produce an heir, you got to. So it's likely she had children. Um, but as her fame grew and grew and grew and grew, and particularly when the Spanish Armada finally came, she she dangled her virginity for years and years and years and years. I might marry you. I might marry you to stave off the Armada. Right, Spanish attack. We've got to return England to the true Catholic religion, so we're going to come and invade. No, 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 I, I might marry one of your, you know, so she kept this, she was very, very savvy. Keep this going. But it, it, you, know, you, couldn't, um, you couldn't WhatsApp a picture in those days, right? It wasn't like, send me, a, you know, a gif of what he looks like. You'd have to send a portrait over. He'd have a portrait taken of him. Make it a good one and send it over with some ambassadors. And uh, right, it takes months, right? And send a picture over. Nah, not fancy him. She played this game like a master. I mean, she just literally was on top of her game, and she did this over and over and over with various candidates who came over. And it's all pretty well. well uh, documented in various movies to, to considerable entertainment value and some of it true, some of it not true, but the point is she played this game. I might marry you, I might marry you. It went on for years and years and years and all the while that England is building up its naval forces under the direction of John Dee telling her you've got to, you've got to build these forces up so that we're ready. So she played the game so well that by the time she was in her late 40s or something, you know, people were going, I don't think she's ever going to get married, do you? I don't know, no, no, no. Okay, let's invade. Yeah. So when they finally invaded in, in 1588, a miracle happened. The weather changed. All the Spanish ships turned over in the water. They lost, I don't know the number specifically, but thousands of men. We lost 11 men, 12 men, no ships, they lost all their ships. It was, it was crazy. We won. The next day, the Queen is giving an announcement that we won, and her status changed overnight to one of being deified. She, her, this vision of her as the Virgin Queen became equated with the Virgin Mary. Like she was a goddess. That stuck. That was her PR. That was her persona, so when it came to the end of life, it was very hard for her to give that up. This persona of this virgin queen, which was really just a necessary political stance. I've got to be a virgin to be available. I can't have a child and be available. No one's going to want to marry me in that age. 
so I've got to be a virgin. And she played that role until it was running out of its shelf life. And so, and then the invasion happened and didn't happen, and all of a sudden she just looks like a goddess. Well, you can imagine <laughs> the kind of, huh. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I did that. I am a deity. However it happened, it happened over a slow amount of time, or it happened instantly, I, nobody knows. But she certainly was affected by it, and this persona of a virgin queen became her brand. That was it. I am the Virgin Queen. There's a certain equation with the Virgin Mary, although that's odd because that's Catholicism kind of personified. But nevertheless, there you go. That's what she ends up with. So to admit that she has children becomes an impossibility. It just, it would have meant at the end of her life saying, thank you, my loyal subjects. We, we survived this desperate time. You can imagine her giving a, a, you know, a talk on, on uh, Fox News <laughs> from the Oval Office of the, of the Queen. <laughs> Just, uh, we survived this time and uh, I am a, I'm about to leave. I'm in ill health. But um, about that virginity thing, um, I have two or three candidates waiting in the wings for what? She just couldn't bring herself to do it. She couldn't bring herself to... She, she had a choice. Go down in history as the Virgin Queen, the deity, or continue the Tudor dynasty with your children, but you are a fraud. She chose the previous choice, and that meant ending the Tudor dynasty. So that was her choice. That's the choice she made. She wasn't going to admit that she had children. Simple as that. She was also going senile towards the end of her life and so who, how much she how much say she had in this we don't really know Robert Cecil the son of William Cecil was pretty much running the show towards the end 1602 1603 she dies in 1603 the day before the new year and in those days the new year started on March 25th and it's called Lady Day and it celebrates the annunciation of the 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 angel that comes to announce to the to the Virgin Mary, that she's going to give birth to a child nine months from now on Christmas Day. That's the start of the year in England. Lady Day. 